Hello everybody, Average Gamer, and welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 as Germany. So in the last episode, I have been doing a little bit of work um, off screen, uh, just doing things on like satellite, or satellite, on uh, radar and, and stuff like that. Realizing that's one thing we're, we're kind of missing. It's aircraft support and, well, and, and radar to be honest with you. I'm a little worried about an attack, obviously, by the, uh, I don't even know what to call them at this point. Uh, they're not really the good, the bad guys, but they're also not really the bad guys either. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, if you haven't seen any of the episodes, you might want to go back and watch a few, but basically, uh, as you can see, the Allies lost the war um, quite quite badly. Um, they lost to uh, us and the Italian faction, which is the new Imperial Rome faction, um, which is pretty much all of southern... Well, pretty much they, they controlled the Mediterranean. Uh, we control the North Atlantic, pretty much. Um, they control the Pacific, mostly. Uh, we control a good part of the Southwest, um, the, the South Pacific, at least. Um, and we control a nice chunk of uh, the Mediterranean or the the, the Caribbean. Uh, we have the strategic locations, though, in most places. Um, like we got most of the oil and stuff like that in uh, North America. Um, we got well almost all of Russia. Um, we've got all the rubber and oil in. Uh, in southwest, sorry, in the southwest of, uh, of the Pacific, we also have Hawaii, which is obviously the big thing, is we can project our our air power out, uh, quick and easy, or air power, fight, you name it. Or I'll be, I'm basically going to station the navy uh, here and here, and they're basically just going to keep Japan in check. It shouldn't be too hard, um, and we're going to have massive amounts of of air superiority over. The, uh, well, them. Uh, one thing we're going to do is we're going to build up our air support first. Uh, the plan is to have, obviously, all our jet fighters and jet bombers good to go. Um, the plan is to have around every air force base along the border is going to have at least 1,000 prop-driven aircraft and 500 fighters. Not jet fighters. And then 500... Uh, or then a space of an extra additional 500, just so we can kind of, you know, be a little careful. And then behind the front lines will be the jet bombers and jet ta the jet tactical and strategic bombers. And basically, they're going to be the ones that you do the majority of the work. Plus, they'll have jet fighters with them as well. Uh, there'll be about, there'll be a thousand jet fighters, um, 750 tactical bombers, and 250 um, strategic bombers at each location beyond the front lines to then project power into the territory. And then we'll have, you know, air support spread it throughout um, internally the country. I'm probably going to do prop-driven aircraft internally um, along the front. Uh, the jets. So the jets can have, obviously, superiority, but we'll also have props. Uh, prop-driven aircraft to kind of supplement that idea um, and make sure that, you know, we have everything... Uh, you know, we'll say, uh, in command, in control. And we, we know what we're doing. Uh, meanwhile, we're researching the rest of our naval tech. We are building a significant force still, because why not? Uh, we're modernizing still. We are still, well, we're actually switching over. We're upgrading to the uh, Tier 3 mechanized infantry units, as well as Tier 3 artillery. Um, our modern tanks are being built up, as well as our medium tanks are finally catching up as well. Um, it's going to take a little while, obviously, for those guys to catch up. In the meantime, our fighters, I'm just producing them for the moment. I'm not actually telling them to do anything. Um, and I'm just keeping them kind of at a at a reasonable pace for the, for the moment. Until everything's kind of built up. And then the plan will be, once they're at full... Uh, full efficiency, and they're producing, you know, way more aircraft than we really need, then we'll start to deploy said aircraft to their 
based on the locations. Um, plan also is to start telling our troops to train and work a little bit. Um, a lot of them, I don't want to say have lost their skills, but, you know, some of them... No, none of our units really actually got into battle enough, really, to, uh... Oh, this might take a while. Like, we have a couple... Most of our units became regulars. Um, some became trains. A lot of green units still. But yeah, so we never really went that big into war. I mean, everyone that we basically went after capitulated pretty quick, so... Mainly it's due to the way we, we attacked and did everything. I'm actually... Oh, perfect. Um, All our infrastructure and... War, oh, perfect. One of the things I want to do, too, is get... Um, what's our supply? Our air control a little bit better. Right now we're building just radar stations in Ireland because we're trying to stop the allies from heading east. So now I'm building them in a lot of different positions and I want to see how it, they fit and how their coverage is just so we can kind of better suit and situate ourselves. I'm actually going to make them a priority. Mainly because they should be easier to build. The reason the amount of uh, factories we have, um, we don't need anything when it comes to resources. Uh, I mean, tungsten we're a little low on, but I'm not too worried about tungsten. Um, Portugal and the British Raj are right targets for us. British Raj being here because we can invade right through the north and cut them off here. The only problem is, oh. Oh, for a second there, I thought he was Asian. Um, they're a fascist, so they might join the new Imperial Rome faction, which is still alive and kicking, actually, which is making me a little nervous. I was hoping um, that they could kind of fall apart a little bit. Yeah, they're all... Well, when I say they're fascist, I mean, holy crap, they are fascist. Jesus. They're almost as fascist as we are. So, yeah, so the plan is over the next little bit to build up the... Uh, well, let's take a look at our, our radar. So, radar down here is done. Here is done. Uh, in here is done. Uh, here. And around here. So, we're getting there. But I really, really want to get... It all built up. That way I can try to figure out where our holes are going to be in in our Air Force. Because once I figure that out, then it's just a matter of just trying to figure out where, where and how we can plug our holes that we have with, uh, with our Air Force. Um, obviously, one of the things I'm hoping to do, fingers crossed, I mean, we can starve them out here, no big deal. I mean, the Americans only have two two states, and Canada's pretty much, um, well, southern Winnipeg, and, or southern Winnipeg, southern Manitoba, and uh, southern Saskatchewan. Uh, most of Alberta was pretty much divvied between us and the, uh, the Italians. Um, I mean, well, they got, they got Iowa and South Dakota. So, I mean, there's Montana. Well, I didn't realize Montana is that small. Well, it's like a... About half the size of the Saskatchewan, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I'd have to actually look at the, the numbers. But one of the things I want to do, too, is I want to build up our infrastructure with everything. Before we start building more uh, facilities, um, so I mean, we're we're working, we're working on it. I keep forgetting about Tanzania down here. 
But we're working on it. Um, actually, what does our radar look like now? Okay, so for radar, we've got a good chunk there, here now, as well. I thought I was building air... Oh, yeah, because some of them aren't good yet to go. I want a nice little defensive wall here of radar. Um, it's winter now, so this is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass, but we have most of Europe covered, or Western Europe covered with radar. Um, this is becoming gooder, but gooder. Um, we might build another one in this region. I might actually build one in Cyprus to link these three. But uh, these ones getting bigger is a good thing, as then we can kind of project into Japan a little bit. I kind of wish that I controlled some of these islands, but I don't. So these ones are pretty much as is. I'm going to... I'm not too worried about Hawaii, to be honest with you. I'm going to build, though, on Hawaii. Just to kind of get them going as well. But yeah, so, I mean, our buildings are coming along. Our Air Force bases are coming along. Our radar stations are coming along. It's just getting to a point now where we're... Uh, modernizing, and I mean, I keep using that word, but I mean... It's pretty much what we're doing. We're at a certain point now where everything other than our industrial research is done. We still then at that point we can then max out our amount of you know shit we can build. Um, when that happens, God fucking help us. Uh, we're at full. Are we at full naval capacity, really. Yeah, we still have a lot though that we need to build. Uh, we still have all of England to build to... Oh, yeah, I haven't done a lot of stuff up here. Like, one, two, those three. Um, we're building Tanzania. We're building on all those islands. Down there. I can't believe I forgot England. I think I did the Air Force bases, but I didn't actually do the naval facilities. Uh, so what we're going to do, the next step it will be to, obviously, increase our infrastructure. Or sorry, after our infrastructure, will be to up the amount of infantry or uh, factories and stuff we can have, and we're going to immediately turn to our navy, so we can basically project our uh, our power. So right now, though, we have the naval ability. We don't have the ships yet. Now, Eleven carriers, twenty-four cruiser or light cruisers, one hundred and six destroyers, one hundred and eleven submarines. 14 heavy cruisers, 3 battleships, and 9 battle cruisers. I would prefer more light cruisers and more heavy cruisers. Um, we might act because I shouldn't have a, almost a 1 to 1, uh, 2 to 1 ratio almost to these guys. So, what I'm probably going to do is cut our carrier production in half and increase heavy cruiser and light carrier and light cruiser production. Uh, depending on if I'm already done that. Battleship, battle cruiser, heavy cruiser. Yeah. Um, you're going there, there, buddy. But I'm going to cut you in half. Cut you in half. And cut you in half. See, this is the part, right? We're doing two a year, two a year. Well, then this doesn't say actually how many we're doing. Oh, so we're going to build, like, cruisers. Oh, shit, what did I just do? Carrier. Carrier, carrier. Oh, okay. I almost just... So we're building one more, there we go, two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, two more heavy cruisers, and one more battle cruiser. I just like the ability that we're having more picket ships. The more picket ships we have, the happier I will be. They're all going to the Kriegs Marine, right? They're all going to the Kriegs Marine. Plus, battle cruisers can be in fleets themselves. They're basically like a cheap aircraft carrier, so 
Uh, Nationalist Spain took Northern Australia? Really? Hmm. That I wasn't expecting. That I really wasn't expecting, actually. I really didn't even pay attention to it. Um, I can probably... These new units coming out, I'm going to deploy them to Rommel. For now. Because Rommel is going from the Swiss border all the way to the Arctic Circle by, uh... Well, they're going basically along like this. And then... Our second army... Well, actually, no, they're... This, actually. Yeah, they're... They're actually covering more territory than... The 8th army is. But... The 8th army... You know what? I can probably... Cut you in half, actually. So there we go. The majority of troops are going to be on the... And actually, let's change this up a little bit, shall we? I'm going to tell you to go there, 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 there. You. There we go. That's a lot better. So, the 8th Army is just basically doing our coast, while the 3rd Army is doing basically our border with the other faction. And the 1st Army is doing North and South America, plus all our other holdings mixed around. Perfect. I forgot to tell him to do this. Uh, this, those, those, and all this as well. And there we go. Oh, I don't have an African group. Um, I just realized I don't have an African military. Um, let's break it down. I mean, all we have is these two locations and the Middle East. So, 16. Uh, you're gonna go kind of red. You're gonna be under... Plaus. Plaus. And your job is gonna be to... Watch over the Middle East. Kuwait. Cyprus. And I just realized I don't want this guy to be doing the Pacific. I want an actual army to be doing the Pacific. An actual group of its own. Um, I'm actually going to art, um, order... I'm going to break off some of the units and actually just deploy them myself. Into the... Yeah, so we're going to break that up as well. Uh, 15 should be enough. Change your color to light green. And we're going to go to the bottom. You're going to be list. And you are going to be told to protect all of this. Your headquarters, obviously better, be Hawaii. You're also going to get a fleet soon. Of a minimum of four carriers and change. Speaking of which, 316. Um, to be honest with you, that should be our. You're going to get repaired. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I'm definitely going to break everything off once this. Ship is done repairing. I'm going to create a well, that was fast. A fleet here. Uh, 
Oh crap, that doesn't work. We'll split it in half for now. Yeah, it doesn't work because it's six carriers. That's not enough to do the Pacific. I know what I'm going to do. Everything but one sub, basically, is what I want. All heavy cruisers. Okay, so right Fosella is still going to be the the Kriegsmarine, sorry. Everyone else is gonna be put together under Raider. Um there should be a isn't there an order to change the home base? Control and right click. Um, Hawaii is now its home base, its home fleet. For the moment, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the fleet up into. Well, once it gets into place, I'll tell it to start doing stuff. Why is the Hawaiian Ridge low on supply? Oh, because of the fleet. Um, yeah, don't worry. You're going to be ordered out soon anyways. So that's no big deal. Plus, I'm going to... Wow, you really can't hold much, can you? Oh, we're in the middle of working on that. So we want to make Hawaii a priority here. Uh, Urals, it's all the Pacific. Or Oh, here we go. Hawaii, you are going to the top. I think I... Did a naval base for you as well. Oh. Or the naval base there was already a 10. Naval base is probably already a 10, yep. Yeah. Uh, we're good. It's, it's now a priority. Shouldn't take too long. So we're at 43 units of 22 that I can support. Okay, I'm going to put a cut into this episode. In the next one, I should be home from my vacation. And uh, refreshed and anew. And all, and all things are different. I think. Uh, three, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yep. So in the next episode, I will be home from my vacation. All bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.